Hello everyone. Today I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to configure a simple SQL database within your project. Now it may be necessary in some applications to stream data to a central database. Wintech has made this easy by including a database section within Easy Builder Pro. To access this section, you'll need to ensure that the project you're building is for a CMT HMI. Next, within Easy Builder Pro, select the Data slash History tab and then select Database Server on the far right. In the following menu, click New on the bottom left, and here we can add the SQL database that will be used within your project. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a local MySQL database, and I'll configure this within our General tab. Although I'm using a local SQL Server within my project, you can easily configure a cloud-based server by selecting the drop-down list, which currently has Use IP selected. Once our database has been configured, you'll need to define a control and status address by selecting the tab on the far right. By default, our status address is set to LW0 and LW1. And since I'm not currently using those within my project, I'll keep them selected and define my control address. Establishing a control address will allow us to edit our database server settings in case we need to make changes after our project has already been downloaded to our HMI. For this address, I'm going to assign it to our RW registry, which is our retentive registers. In doing so, any information entered will be saved in the event of a reboot or power failure. One thing I'd like to point out before we close our menu is our LW1 error register. The meaning of each error code isn't listed within this menu, but you can easily find them by selecting the Help button in the bottom right corner, and then select Error on the following menu. Now I'll go ahead and close our menu and configure our status and control objects. With our objects configured, let's go ahead and sync a data sampling object to our SQL database. To do this, I'm going to select our data sampling button in the top left corner. I'll begin by selecting New to create a new data sampling object, but this can be done with an existing data sampling object as well. I'll leave our object set to time-based, and for our read address, if I had a PLC, I would configure this address here. But since I don't, I'm going to select LW2 and add a 16-bit unsigned data record within my Data Format tab. I'll then enable my control address and set it to our HMI's LW3 internal register. And then enable history files as well. I'm going to name this data file HMI Data and then enable Sync to Database and Auto Sync periodically. Once more, before I exit, I'd like to point out that the database status and error register is within my data sampling object. The meaning of each status and error code can be found within Section 8-8 of the Easy Builder Pro user manual. And with everything properly configured, I'll create our database sync, status, and error objects, and then download this to my device for testing. Through VNC Viewer, you can see that the configuration on my HMI is error free. And within my SQL database, you'll notice that my data is currently syncing. And that's a quick demonstration of how to set up a SQL database within your HMI project. And as always, if you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.